Eat time is only once a day. Good strong worker only need to eat once. We have free healthcare. Turns out that I've actually been thrown in my own gulag. I'm shooting my way out of here. Hello, comrades, and welcome to Prison Architect. It is, it is me, your old comrade, the Goobers. Yes. Hello. Okay, so, listen guys, yeah, it's me. I, I gotta be honest here, I, I'm not feeling myself right now. I said a lot of things in that, that video I made with Roller Coaster Tycoon that apparently had some very capitalist tendencies and apparently weren't very kind to the working class. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yes, I forgive. I am forgiven. I am sorry about the things I said. It is propaganda of bourgeoisie, and I was not thinking straight. But I'm in a situation where, um, yeah, I've had to. I've had to backpedal. Uh, this, this capitalist propaganda, yes. And anyway, so I'm here to design a gulag um, in prison architect for all the sinister members of bourgeoisie um like my former self look we want a plot that's nice in the snow so you know all the all the capitalists can suffer in the cold and freeze to death that they try to escape the lunar plot though so, okay i haven't played this game in a while i i actually did a video on it but that was when my video sucked prison uh construction workers uh really underappreciated career <laughs> So, um, here I am again. Alright, I think we got this all figured out. So here we are, fellas. Here we are back in Prison Architect. Um, but this time we are here to design the machinations of the working class. Ah, oh, speaking of the working class, here they come. Here come our heroes. Our boys in reflective vests. Ah, oh, these are the real heroes. Okay. So... Anyways, we want to get a prison planned out here. And uh, what better way to plan out your prison than through a montage? To this day, after the time of history when, when it was founded, we still need communism. <laughs> okay, and there we go. We're all planned out, fellas. So I think all we need to do now, we can take out a few grants, you know, money from the government, because we're all funded by the government here. We don't... I've, I've changed my opinion. I like the government. I don't like private uh, prisons or private funding anymore. That was, that was a mistake. I've made a mistake, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. But anyways, so look, it's all water under the bridge, right? Like, we can make this gulag now. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. So we're gonna... We're gonna get these foundations down. And look, here here comes the, the heroes of the working class. But the eventual goal of this uh, facility, this gulag, I think is going to be to incarcerate and maybe even execute um, the members of the, the bourgeoisie who have tried to exploit the working class. I mean, not like I'm doing right now. These are these people are here willingly. They're they're not away from their families or anything. They they want to be here. This room is going to be like the the reception. Yeah, so they can lay all their private possessions on the table here. You know what? We're gonna indulge them a little in the holding room here or in the reception room. We're gonna have this little painting right before they walk into jail. It can be a painting of our comrade Lenin, and you know. It can remind them of the, the grave sins they committed. And this can just be their last little luxury, because I'm sure they're used to it in their ivory towers or whatever. Owning their amusement parks and defrauding customers. Oh God, those people make me sick. But anyways, yeah. So it can be like, I don't know if you ever saw that movie, Lord of War with Nicolas Cage. No, what a great movie. But, um, you know where his brother goes into the insane asylum? Or whatever? Because he's addicted to coke from all their vast profits selling weapons of war. And then, like, Nicolas Cage just gives him, like, a like a last snort of coke. It's for the road before he goes in. This can be, like, their last luxury of the bourgeoisie before they 
get accustomed to their new life. And then in here can be the shower where they, you know, sort of wash away their capitalist ideas. Except it's a gulag, not like a friggin' vacation camp, like I said, so... You're probably gonna like turn on the shower and it's just gonna be like rats or something that flow out of the shower head. And really that's it's actually kind of counterproductive when you think about it because just making you progressively more dirty. And not even like the dirty you want to be in the shower. Like when you're bending over to pick up the soap, just actually like dirty. Covered in like rats and lice. But I mean like I keep saying it also, it also serves them right, so. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. They have a debt to society, to the working people, um, which, like myself, or unlike myself, I should say, you know, I've fulfilled, and I'm continuing to fulfill. This is actually crunch time here, because we got, we got five hours until the prisoners come. So, I mean, these workers, these idiots, heroes of uh, the people, yeah, um, just work a little faster. That would be really good. <laughs> it's all about first impressions when you go to jail. Like they say, the thing you do when you go to jail is like, you find the biggest, toughest guy and you just clock him in the face. That's the first impression. But I'll tell you what a first impression is. And it's getting to the gulag that you're supposed to be oppressed in. And it's not even done yet. Jeez. Like, I just think the place is a total joke. And, um... Uh, this is not a joke. <laughs> There's definitely no jokes here. I'm a... Still got a lot to do, but nothing a good old montage can't fix, am I right, boys? No, no, hold on, hold on, stop the music, stop. Everybody, Andrew, this is you from the future. No more goddamn montages. I... Wait, what? But, but they're funny. No, they're not, Jesus Christ. You think people want to watch just some sped up footage of you building a prison for the 30th time? I'd rather watch paint dry. But, Fuck you. But how do Shut I- Shut your goddamn mouth I... and just do a jump cut to the next part of the footage. You may as well not beat around the bush, because that's what everybody's waiting for anyways. You're welcome, everybody. Future Andrew out. Hey. Okay. Um, well, I guess now I have to- And here we are, boys. Took a few workers freezing to death, but we did it. Got all these miserable members of the bourgeoisie in here. Just milling around, got the yard, canteen, kitchen, and of course over here, we have yours truly, I set myself up my own office. That's right, I'm wearing an eye patch, just like I do in real life. Not because I have any sort of eye injury or anything like that, it's just that I think they look cool. Um, I think it looks even cooler when you're wearing two eye patches actually, but um, I have a lot of trouble getting around, and I just end up bumping into all the furniture and stuff, so I kind of have to limit the coolness factor at one eye patch. And, uh, okay. Okay, they're gone. So, look guys, if, if it wasn't abundantly clear, I'm not a communist, I don't condone any of these views, hopefully they don't hear any of this, but I've been, I'm, I'm being coerced into making this gulag here, and hopefully, I don't, I think they're just gonna let me go after I do it, I don't know. But, I figure I may as well get this done sooner rather than later, so maybe there's some YouTube videos or something that'll help me make this, I don't know, but I'm gonna check it out. I got my computer in here, my government, state-mandated computer. Alright, here we go, prison architect. Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I'm gonna be playing Prison Architect. I also wanna thank Paradox for sponsoring this video. Thank you very much, Paradox. Because I've been sponsored by Paradox to make paradise itself in Prison Architect. Today we're playing Prison Architect. This video is sponsored by Paradox Whoa. as well. Big shout out to Paradox. This video huh. is actually sponsored. Big thank you to Paradox for sponsoring today. Special huh? thank you very much to Paradox Interactive for sponsored video. Sure, make sure you- uh. I didn't get sponsored by Paradox to play this game. I never got any emails about receiving the Island Bound DLC for free. I don't even have that DLC. Alright, maybe maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe they forgot to put me down or something. Hello, dear Paradox. My name is Decouvers. I am a very 
famous YouTuber. Please, 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 bro, give me a free copy of Island Bound DLC so I can review it and all my fans will love it. Trust me, love the Coopers. Eventually, you've got mail. Hi. What? What the? These clowns at Paradox, they have the balls, they have the cojones, the stones, to not give, possibly, the guy with the most clout on YouTube. To get away with not giving him a free copy of this game, the stupid Swedish assholes. They don't even have real prisons over there, they just go to a freaking daycare. Have you seen all the videos of those guys in prison in Sweden where they're like knitting or doing yoga or something stupid? Where is all the suffering in that? Where's the starvation? Where's the freezing? Where's the rat soup for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Screw these guys, screw capitalism for sponsoring all these stupid irrelevant YouTubers. I'm making a real prison. Hello comrades, and welcome back to the Gulag. Here we lock up all the corrupt capitalists who take sponsorships to play game for free. The workers are slaving away in the factory. Uh, as communists though, we care deeply about their conditions. As you can see, factory is pristine environment. Eat time is only once a day. Good strong worker only need to eat once. Do you know that three meals a day is propaganda of bourgeoisie? Here we have more workers. They are all very pleased to be here. And here are the cells. As you can see, everybody is equal in the same conditions. We have simple full mattress and toilet. What more do you need? In yard, we have place for prisoners to work out, so workers can stay strong. And we also have some encouragement that is constantly uh, piped through the PA system to them at all times. If I were to ever start a country with a communist government, wink, wink, wait 12 years. Over here is graveyard, um, where all the enemies of the revolution lie dead. This is what happens if you do not like your full mattress. This is what happens if you do not smooch picture of Lenin on way into prison. And we also have statues of the hero of the revolution, yours truly, standing up to uh, YouTubers who receive game for free. However, there is really no reason for people to be angry. As you can see here, we have psychologist office where people can talk about their capitalist desires and uh, just work them out. And we have free healthcare. Uh, down here we have the complaints department. Um, we don't really prioritize free speech in here, um, so this is usually how we deal with it. And we also have security room, where all the guards can keep an eye on the prisoners through the security cameras at all times, making sure uh, nobody has any opinions that I do not like. Um, over here it seems like there are some problems with families who want to visit. <laughs> it's funny. It's a funny joke. Uh, no, that is not going to happen. Down here is staff room with uh, only toilets, wooden stool, and Pepsi machine. And you might be thinking, Pepsi is drink of capitalism, is drink of bourgeoisie. But in fact, no. In fact, we love Pepsi so much that the Soviet Union sold half their navy to Pepsi uh, to purchase some. And, and actually, the more I look at my office, I just feel like it could be a bit nicer. You know, this is good communist office, don't get me wrong, but I mean, you really can't go wrong if I had, like, oh, I don't know, uh, the table in here, uh, maybe a, maybe a TV. A pool table, perhaps? Yeah, now we're talking, baby. Yeah, hey, just, just put that bookshelf over there. Oh, we got the arcade machine, too? Oh, man. This communist shit is stupid. Look at this place. I'm living it. Oh, hang on. Somebody's at the door, guys. I gotta... No. no, please. No, I'm sorry. I'm a true communist. Too. I need him off the pool table. It's just a joke. We're just talking about this. Get away from me. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Well, shit. Um, yeah, so a bit of a, a bit of a hiccup there, guys. Um, it turns out that I've actually been beaten 
thoroughly, and I've been thrown in my own gulag now. Uh, so we're kind of we're kind of back to square one here. I thought maybe I could jump on the whole communist bandwagon, and that would take me somewhere. But no, I'm I'm just here with this dirty, filthy mattress. It's awful. It's no Hilton hotel. I mean, I never designed this with me in mind. Like, come on, guys. Who do you think I am? But, um... But anyways, yeah, we uh, we now have to escape this hellhole that I built for myself. I mean, I'm just... I'm just shocked and appalled that my own creation has been turned against me. I, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I couldn't imagine what kind of psychopath would do that to somebody, but... You're going on oh, the no. ride, Petey. Your own creation. <laughs> Either way, we gotta get out of this place. Like, I've... I designed it, and I know exactly what's in store for me, and I'm not looking forward to it, I'll say that much. Like, I mean, I really went out with the whole communist thing. Like, there's no there's no dividers between the shower or anything. I guess everybody's just workers. They can kind of slap each other on the ass and stuff while they take a shower, but... I'm not about that. Like, I know I built it, but... I'm just gonna start causing trouble. I'm not gonna find the biggest, toughest guy and punch him, but I'm gonna start punching these shower heads. I'm just, I'm starting the anti-cleanliness brigade. I'm just really building up my reputation in the prison by being against showers. I'm like, I'm like some kind of 12 year old just throwing a tantrum because he doesn't want to shower. Even though it's just such a minuscule part of your day, but like, it requires you to take a break from like, playing Xbox or whatever, so I'm gonna smash all these shower heads. And look, this guy, this guy can't do anything about it. He's got a shotgun, but he's not even gonna... Okay, he's actually he's beating the shit out of me. I'm gonna surrender. See, now, the thing here is this game is actually very realistic, because um, as a black man who has surrendered, I'm still being beaten to death. <laughs> oh no. No, stop. Am I gonna die? This is a... I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Oh, okay. This game is way too realistic. Hashtag justice for Andrew. Oh my god. I didn't expect Prison Architect to be, uh, to be that realistic with the cops, but... Anyways, we can we can just skip the punishment now. And we can spend up all these points. So that we can be strong. Um, tough. Be deadly. Quick and instigator. We're just like... Freaking... Superman at this point. But we still gotta get out of here. I've been wrongfully accused. I've done nothing wrong. I'm a lot like that guy from uh, from Con Air. You know, Nicolas Cage. Cameron Poe. He just got... He just wanted to get back to his family, even though he was a prisoner. God, what a good movie. Remember... You guys remember that part where, like, where Bubba from Forrest Gump is dying? Because he got shot by Cyrus the Virus. Great name, by the way. And then Nicolas Cage with his mullet. He says, oh, I'm going to show you that God does exist. And then he just he just walks up to the cockpit. He freaking tanks that bullet. And then he slaps that guy in a dress in the face. Best movie of all time. Anyways, I, that's pretty much what I aspire to be like. Is I want to be like Nicolas Cage in Con Air. I want the mullet. I want the wife beater. I want the southern accent that he nails so expertly. I mean, I made a lot of Nicolas Cage references today. But he's just like an all-around incredible actor. You can't hate him. So I stole a power drill from the, um, the workshop. And I have a plan here. Here's the plan. I'm just gonna start wailing on this guard. Here we go. We got a shotgun. I'll show you that God does exist. Oh. Huh. The hell? This- No, this guy's turned into Nicolas Cage. He's freaking tanking the boat. Alright, I don't even need the gun. Stupid gun anyways. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm power drilling anybody that gets in my way. <laughs> um, and the dog too. Look, it's a dog eat dog world. I, just between me and you guys. It was probably going in the stew anyways, so. Look, this is great. <laughs> I just just one stop at Home Depot, and you're unstoppable. 
Oh no, these guys these guys are getting pretty tough. Give me your gun, give me your gun. I need a weapon. Oh, I need I need a freaking shotgun. Oh Christ. Alright, I got him boys. I'm shooting my way out of here. I'm showing you guys that God does exist. I'm walking right out of here. Big Rigatoni's Tony's walking out of here. You think these walls can hold me? <laughs> That's right, I'm getting out of here, boys. You thought I was ever a communist? You thought I ever wanted free healthcare? <laughs> what are you, Canadian? That's right, this is America, baby. This is what happens when you ask for a raise. You bust out the power drill to the face. USA, USA, USA. I built this place. You thought I could contain me? They call me Cameron Poe from that movie Con Air. I'm getting out of here, baby. I'm gonna go exploit their capitalist system again. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the flip side. <laughs>